I created the FML methodology and no, it's not what you're thinking. Hey everyone, my name is Sylvia and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, I'm a social media manager and marketing coach from Portugal and I love talking all about working as a VA, as a freelancer in general, marketing yourself on Instagram and Upwork and much more. So if those are topics that interest you, don't forget to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on my next video. And also follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm most active. I post there three times a week and on stories nearly every day. Go ahead, link is in the description to follow me on Instagram and I'll put the little username right here on the screen as well so you guys can go ahead and follow me there. But without further ado, let's get on to today's topic. So my FML methodology to help you get clients as a VA, as a social media manager, as a service provider in general, definitely doesn't mean to F it all or F your life and just don't care about anything. FML stands for Foundations, Marketing and Launch. But let's back it up a little bit. When you start out as a VA, you likely don't know where your next client or your first client is coming from, you're not sure about your services, they may be a little all over the place, you may be advertising that you can do anything and everything under the sun or whatever the client needs, and you may even feel price shopped even if you're offering everything at a super low rate. Now please tell me how it would feel to you to have consistent clients coming to you rather than you having to find them through job ops and applying and getting ghosted and all that. I was going to say good stuff but bad stuff. And also being confident in the value that you provide to your clients working only in those core services that you feel you're the best at and really having clients immediately accept your rates and see the value in you and really wanting to work with you. Like how would it feel to have clients come to you and love you for who you are and the content that they see from you and immediately say, yes, I want to work with you. How can I do it? Tell me the next steps. Because literally that's what happens when you have great content and you put yourself out there. So for those of you who are just shy and don't want to show up on stories or you just don't feel like you have enough time to invest in posting consistently on Instagram or you feel like it would be a waste of time to show up on stories or on the feed or anything like that, think again because of course it's not an overnight success thing, it's not, definitely not, but over time you build this reputation and this community of people that will want to work with you. So this is actually where my methodology comes in, the FML methodology. I'm actually going to be hosting a free challenge inside my Facebook group from October 26th to October 28th. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday that week, where each day I'll be going live inside my Facebook group and giving you all the value on the three steps of the FML methodology. And I'll also be giving you some homework so you can work on before the next live. Hopefully it will all be a community where you guys can ask me questions, I can give you tips and give you hopefully so much value that will help you start or continue your VA journey. So if you're interested in joining the challenge, don't forget to sign up in the link in the description. I'll have a sign up link there. But basically, I don't want to leave you without explaining the three steps of the FMO methodology because that's what this video is about. Basically, it all starts with the foundations. That's the first step of the F. ML. So in the foundation steps, like I said, this is the first step of the FML methodology. Here you'll be really looking into your past job experience or if you're already working as a VA, you'll be looking into your current offerings. You'll be really using that to define your ideal client, see who you want to work with, and then you take that and do some market research with it. So you define your ideal client and then you do some market research to them or with them. 
And then you take that information from the market research and you use that to define your services. So as you can see, this is really very sequential. So you really need to do every step so you can take the information learned from the first step into your second step. In this foundation stage, you guys should also be working on your mindset, really figuring out why you're doing this and what you want to accomplish with being a VA or a social media manager or a service provider in general. And really, the mindset work is something that you should not only do in the foundations, it's really important in the foundation stage, but you should be repeating it every few months or as needed. And this is something you can do alongside with a coach if you have one, or you can try to do it yourself. In my experience, it's so much better to do it with a coach. My coach really asks me questions and guides me through the whole process, but you can certainly try it yourself as well if you have some techniques of your own. And then the next step in the FMO methodology is the M, which stands for marketing. So in marketing, we really take what we've learned in the foundation. So your ideal client, your services, and your market research information. And we take that to develop a strategy custom to you. So I really don't recommend you copy and pasting another social media manager or another VA strategy step-by-step -step or copying their, their Instagram feed or anything like that. You should really develop a strategy that's custom to you. And then you go ahead Ahead and you create the content like my specialty is on Instagram so I always give the example of Instagram but you'll start to create the captions you'll start to either come up with graphic images or pictures of yourself I love having little photo shoots and then after you create that content you'll really need to stay consistent if you're struggling with time right now I would definitely say to start start with one post a week even one post a week can go really far if you can show up on stories like every single day or every business day at least and share your process, share what you're working on for the day. Even just sharing your to-do list on stories at the beginning will go a long way. I honestly started that way when I started my Instagram account. I would share my to-do list every single day uh, and that's how I got started being consistent on stories. So create content and then post it consistently. Once a week is fine, twice is good, three is like my sweet spot, honestly, but I know people that like to do five and that's okay too. Just make sure that you're providing value to your ideal client and stuff that they want to see and they need to see from you. And this is stuff that you have learned in the foundation stage and that you'll learn more in my lives if you join the challenge. Shameless blood below. <laughs> Step three, let's get on to that before I fall asleep because I'm really tired this morning. <laughs> Step three is launch. After you put yourself out there, you will really start eventually attracting and working with your ideal clients. So you really have to learn how to organize your days and weeks for success. You'll have to optimize your calendar so you can have find more slots to work with more clients if that's your goal or e either that or really find out work-life balance. Like, like to find, okay, I'm just going to be working this morning and then the afternoon I have to either work my part-time job or be with my family or work on my hobbies or anything that you want to do apart from your job because life I gotta learn this from myself <laughs> life is not just about work so if you really have that overall look at what you have to do in a week you'll really be able to find that free time and really enjoy the freedom that comes with working from home and working for yourself and also you'll have to be organized as a VA especially but also as a social media manager or anyone that deals with a lot of clients so you make sure that nothing gets left behind because it would be the worst thing I don't think I've done this before only like with little things but it's like a nightmare for me but just imagine forgetting a client task and then having to do it last minute like I'm a planner so that's a nightmare for me but for you it might be different <laughs> now that I'm saying this it may sound ridiculous for some people um, but let me know actually in the comments if you're a planner as well and this and, and if this sounds like a nightmare for you. But yeah, that's basically the basis of the FML methodology. So first we work on your foundations and we really define what you want to do. Second, we take that information and we move it to marketing and we use that in your marketing content to really reach out to your ideal client. And then we launch it and we start attracting clients and working with clients 
and organizing that so we can find time for more clients or more free time for you. Either way is fine. I'm not going to be pushing one on you. But yeah, that's it. Don't forget to sign up for the challenge in the link in the description. And also, if you like this video, don't forget to leave me a like and subscribe so you don't miss out on next week's video. I post every single Friday, so I'll talk to you next week. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands, so bye. <laughs>